Hello, my name is Michelle. Welcome back to my channel today. I'm a reflexologist. I've been working as a reflexologist for a few years now and I like to make videos about hand reflexology and foot reflexology and how it can help you with many different things. So in today's video I want to talk to you about how you can encourage your period to start through the use of hand and foot reflexology. So this is actually a question that I get asked a lot. How can I get my period to start? And it can, people ask for a number of reasons. So one of the main reasons being that there's a condition called polycystic ovary syndrome, which can cause your periods to, and cycles to be really long. So sometimes up to 60, 80, even longer months in between periods. And people just want to encourage their period to start. They don't want those long cycles. Other reasons may be your period may start a few days late and this can be due to maybe just a slight hormonal imbalance but it can be really annoying and frustrating when you just want your periods and your cycles to be the usual 28 days long. This can be really frustrating for people, you know, you can't really plan around holidays or you know if you just want to go swimming or just do something which involves you not wanting to be on your period if your cycles aren't regular you can't really plan for those one of the biggest things being holidays when you go on holiday you don't really want to have to worry about that so some of the techniques I'm going to show you today can help just to bring encourage your period to start earlier and before you do any of these techniques just make sure you're not pregnant first that could be a possibility if your period is late, so just make sure you rule that out before doing any of these techniques. So I'm going to show you a combination of hand reflexology, foot reflexology that you can do on yourself, and then I'm gonna give you just some other tips that may help to encourage it to come too. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with a couple of points that you want to be working on your hands. So I'll show you on my hands here. So you've got a point here, you'll feel a dip in your hand and a point here. So this is your uterus area here and your ovary area here. So if you kind of hold like this, you'll be able to feel the dips. And it's on both sides, so work both sides. And what you want to be doing is just quite, not too hard, but with some pressure is just by working them like this. You can do it separately if that's easier. So just go in and just press on those points there and there. And you want to be doing this if you're doing this to bring your period on and it hasn't come on yet, you want to be doing this quite often throughout the day. So I'd say a few times throughout the day and for a few few minutes. And you do this on both sides, so I'll show you again there, in the dip, there, in the dip, and work them like this. Again, a medium kind of pressure I would use. So those are the two hand points that you wanna be using on your wrists. Now I'm going to show you the foot reflexes. So these are the same as the hands. So it's your uterus and your ovary areas that you want to be working. And I'll show you the position on your feet. The uterus area is located around this area. So the specific uterus point can vary on different people, but it will be located within this area. So what I like to do is get my two knuckles here and work the area like this. And this can just help encourage your, your uterus to work, help to encourage your period to start. And you do this at the same time as your ovary area. So I will show you whereabouts the ovary areas on the foot now. And your ovary area is located around here on your foot. So get your knuckles and just cover the whole of this area. So I would just cover the whole bit here just to make sure you definitely get it. So know that now that you know where the ovary and uterus areas are, you get, as I said before, your, both your fingers like this on both sides and work 
them both at the same time on both sides and again do this for a few minutes a few times a day I personally find that the foot reflexes are more powerful than the hand reflexes on this occasion so if you had to choose between the hands and the feet I would personally choose the feet I just find that that's more effective for me so I just wanted to share with you a couple of other tips that may help alongside the hand and foot reflexology points I've just shown you so number one would be to keep your uterus area nice and warm so you can use a hot water bottle and place that on your uterus area on your lower lower abdomen and hold that there keeps the area nice and warm keeps the blood flowing there nicely and that can really help just to encourage everything to be working nicely number two is to drink plenty of water so drinking water is really important anyway but especially water can help to flush out any old hormones keep everything working nicely so drinking water just helps to keep your body working keep all your hormones working at a nice level and just ensure that everything's geared up to make sure that your period is ready to start and number three is to reduce your stress so when you're really stressed it can really affect your hormones and this can potentially cause an effect on your period starting especially if you're worrying about your period starting so just keep really nice and relaxed really calm try not to think about it too much and this can really help as well so those are my tips for today please let me know if you use these and if they work i personally find that these are really really effective i really hope you enjoyed this video today please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already i'm going to be doing lots more different videos like this so please subscribe so you can get notified about them and i will see you in the next video enjoy thanks very much bye